Hey guys, many of you asked for a tutorial on how to set up leak broadcasts, so here we go. First of all, obviously you need to download it from the web page, which is going to be linked in the description. Top right here is the download button, and that is a normal installation, go do that. And then um, after you open it up, you should be greeted with this screen. Like first of all, you need to log into your Google account, I think. And it will download um, like files uh, for icons, for example, and whatnot. So the first thing I do is go to my uh, go to view and settings and check if game if uh, I have the correct um, region for me. Um, it for me it automatically went to US, which is correct. So I didn't have to change anything. Um, on the left side, you can already see um, there's a red triangular thingy. Um, telling you to create a match to see the overlay. So this is what we're first going to do. Or actually, before we do that, um, we are going to add teams because in order to create a match, we need some teams. Um, so first, we just do um, just a test team, test one. We're just going to have the team tag one, two, three, and we just save that. And we need a second team, which is our opponent, uh, which is going to be test two, actually test two. And this is three to one. Um, you don't need to add any any members to the team because once you're in the game and you spectate someone, this will automatically get filled. You can obviously um, get season scores and the patch and primary colors and team logos and whatnot. But for this uh, tutorial, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to save this team. And now we go to current game, create a new match, which is match one, anything season, whatever. And we select our two teams we just had. Um, we just leave everything as is. Um, you can just um, like read what is on your screen and say if it's a best of one, best of two, whatever, if it's fearless. Um, but for this, we're just going to do a best of one. We create this, and now we have this match. Um, with this button here, you can switch sides. Um, here you can um, change picks and bands, depending on if uh, the program didn't correctly get um, get get the information and now let's go to style editor um, here's pre-game and in-game you can um, if you duplicate for example let's go to the in-game thing duplicate um, your current style sheet um, let's leave it as is um, and make it active and now we can here Duplicate this again and like change stuff around any of these uh, settings. I'm not going to, to um, explain how this works because I don't know either. Um, for example, if you if you wanted to change like the 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 the, the font, you can do this in here. Um, but let's delete this. It's just um, for you to know that this is there, and let's use our um, default one. Um, so for the Pick and ban phase. We are going to the pre-game, and we um, check any of uh, any of these, like the bottom row or the champions that like you. I like this, so I activate it, and then I need to press copy link, and then I need to go to OBS, and here I create a new scene. Let's call it um, champ select. I already have one, so I'll leave that. Um, and click the add source, click browser, um, champ select browser. And then the URL is which you just copied in here and make it 10, 1920 by 1080. Just press OK. I like to lock this. And then once we go in game or in a draft, um, we should see something pop up, pop up here you can see on the left side test one is our first team on the right side test two um, and since we already have uh, because i'm in a bot um a lobby the champs are already here but now you can see if i ban something it gets uh, on the left side that enemies can't find anything so but there you can already see it is working camille got locked in and we should be good to go i will quit this now this is just for the for the champ select. If you want to change like the bottom row, you can um, have activate it here. I'm not sure if you need to change the 
the URL. I think you do. Yes. Um, activate it. Press copy link again. And then if you click right click on your Champ Select browser source and properties, um, paste the no, new URL in here. Um, just for you to see, um, the bottom row looks like this. Depends on what you what you want. Would you like better? I think this this bottom row was actually kind of neat, but for official uh, tournaments, I would not um, use this. Um, you can already see um, the program when you go into custom mode. Um, hero stats usually is, I think, um, for this that um, it takes the the data from u.gg and shows like how much pick rate it has, how much ban rate and win rate and whatever. Um, but it doesn't need to be active, I think it always is. I'm not quite sure what this one is. Um, but let's get into the in-game thing. For this, I already have an in-game um, feed as well. Let's get to a replay of mine. Um, since we already have an active match, this should be good to go. And this is just my League of Legends here. I will now go into Style Editor and go to in-game on the top here. Um, my default in-game is active. I will copy the link and add another source, a browser source, in-game overlay. I paste it here and again, 1920 by 1080. Just press OK. I like to lock this uh, always. And now we have this. It is important that the in-game overlay obviously is on top of the clean feed, which in my case is just League of Legends. Um, yeah, let's get into a replay. The program will now, on the top, you will see a change from ready to loading. Once the loading is ready, you will already see like the default UI will, um, will be hidden. And when we go into OBS, our new nice um, leak broadcast overlay should be here. Um, obviously change stuff if you don't like the font go into the style editor and change that um, people from the discord like to use custom css which i'm not going to explain here but it's all, um, also possible um you, what is um, maybe if if someone on on either team didn't like order correctly you can go into current game like move the um, move the current order around and if the program didn't current didn't correctly pick up any drakes you can click on these here and um, add them manually they would show up on here um, and you can also just change team sides which is just for the top I think here um, yes so this is working correctly this which is good and now um, there are like once you're in game you have um, some options uh, in the caster mode um let's go to a little further in the replay here Maybe here um see this nice pick onto me i'm the cv in this game actually um but you can see i can press um for example the cs tab and on the left you see some some nice graphics I need to disable them again. Experience tab. Damage dealt for the game, which is now not correctly shown because I jumped in the replay time. But if you uh, like actually um, view the replay correctly, this should be good, right? Correct, I mean. The damage graph is on the bottom here. Um, this is the difference between the teams. And now what's uh, really nice, what I like the most about this feature Let's get to my pentakill, which is why I chose this replay. Um, I can press the team fight damage tab. Everything will get shown. And every damage um, you do um, to the enemy now will be stacked up and added up. And will be shown in this nice overlay. So let's see this awesome, awesome pentakill by me. You can also see like new kill feeds and everything. Are also being added triple kill for me now and um, you can disable those as well if you don't like them you can see i did 8.6k damage in this fight and now if i disable this this will be shown again this here i get my pentacle by the way 
it doesn't matter. Um, some features currently don't work. They will be probably added or, or um, changed uh, in future updates. For me, Teamfight no damage doesn't work, which is just, I think, hiding the top, um, top left and right um, overlays. I will pause this for a second to explain some stuff more. Runes doesn't work as well. This should on the bottom like show any um, any runes um, all the players have, but it doesn't work currently. And if you, for example, like me, don't like this um, that the that their custom made kill announcement on on the right side, I think they're kind of ugly currently. I would just duplicate um, again like I did before um, my stuff. I disable the kill feed and disable the what's it. Um, and now it's our styles, I think. Disable those. Um, and then go back from the replay. I'm not quite sure if this um, applies for the current game again uh, as well. Now I have my normal ship and I have my normal kill feeds. Okay, now it doesn't show in, in the replay, but, it, but it's not, not being shown in the overlay. Um, but also not in game. If I restart the replay, um, it should work. Let's do this for a second, maybe. Just to show you that it actually works. And now, if I go to any kill here, real fast, I have my normal kill feeds and normal top top feet. Which I personally like more. All right, so in-game works, which is very nice. Um, let's um, get let's go through the rest of the um, um, of the of the program. There's also game camera. Um, currently, you would have. Um, I, actually, I'm not going to explain this. Um, when you're a basic user of this, um, you probably won't use it not currently for me not really working as i wanted to so i'm not using it and yeah i hope this tutorial helped you a little bit um thank you for tuning in and have fun using leak podcast